Dream Team's alright with me? Dream Team's alright? Oh, oh yeah! Oh, oh yeah! yeah. I'm right, I coach Destroy, this is Warning. Coach to the Warn Dogs, eh? Hey. Coach to Calvin Dutt! Oh, 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 That is the oh, 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 Green machines. The green machines. <laughs> All right, while you put that on, champion pants, um, we'll put your score up. What is it? How'd you go this week? You actually weren't that bad. Oh, I was pretty good. Um, however, the par this week Are was you listening massive. to how patronising he is towards you now? What do you say? It's actually not that bad. Uh, like he's expecting no. it. Anyway, par this week was massive. <laughs> Twenty three nineteen was par. I feel what like, only marginally short of that. And actually did slip. So it just shows our par yeah. is pretty much spot on the money. Yeah. Very short of it. And I therefore slid like a hundred spots or something. So yeah, our par on the money. But yeah, I took a little bit of a hit this week. Damn it. It's pretty funny to say you're taking a hit at just under 2-3, isn't it? Yeah. That's ridiculous. It's well, crazy. I needed an overnight tackle. Oh! Yeah, and I didn't get it. Oh. Pete from Virtual Sports, I was on his ass too going, hey, hell out, mate. <laughs> ah, and damn. And he said, sorry, Cohen. All right, destroy. Um, I went all right. I got a 2300, which was a bit above par, and it was enough to get me back into the top 300, which I'm pretty happy with, especially considering some of the big names that I continue to carry yep. on my pine. So, yeah, I'm happy with how I'm going, and I uh, I got a win. It was rivalry round in the uh, DT. What's rivalry round? Yeah. yeah. Thought I'd forget that, didn't you, Snow? Yeah, he had enough to beat me, so my 2346 wasn't enough. To get over destroyed, so it was yeah, only fifteen points in the end, pretty close. It game. was neck and neck. Um, neck yeah. and neck. Anyway, so destroy got the win. He is the better coach. He tells us that every week. So don't um, you? I never say it. Kids bloody annoying. Like it's <laughs> yeah, not in here. You don't. I'm in a funny situation where I know I am the best, but make an effort Quite. to continually say yeah, it. Read Quite. The messages. Quote today. <laughs> This, hang on, sorry this is going to take some time. It's to worth it. Well, this, this will be it. some sort of lie to stitch me up because no. I make an effort. Someone's oh. obviously made a fake account. If you um, think I'm no. Right. It was in load earlier. He's going through it. Don't know, it's got to be This just somewhere. shows your arrogance as your dream. And as a dream I remember home. the tweet now, no, the message, and this is no word of a lie. Best team in the world and getting punished for it, is what he said. <laughs> and Doesn't best team in the world. This is about Pendlebury being out for another week. Doesn't read really you know that news. Best, best team, team in, in the world, world and being punished for it. And you know what? <laughs> I will now justify <laughs> that. <laughs> right. No, 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 your turn. Go. All Go. the big names, like the good big names, yep. are copying injuries. Yep. And I seem to be the only one with all the good players. No, this is me at the start of the year and I was more humble. I've, I was quiet. I just went along about my merry business. I don't say anything about it. But you... <laughs> I have the strength to keep going despite adversity. I, at, at my team, I say crisis creates opportunity. You just folded. No, I did you not. You're right, Colton. Murphy's down. Oh, let's all just... No, I got in Murphy to help me. Yeah, and he went <laughs> down and you're just like Colton. Yeah, two shots. Oh, you've been lucky. Everyone else has been lucky. Everyone's been, been lucky. I've been the most unluckiest coach in the world. And that's a lie, because Eeyore. Eeyore. You're bloody Eeyore. No, that's Eeyore. Eeyore. You haven't had any bad luck at all. You're green Eeyore. Eeyore. Tell me some bad luck you've had. The that side you. that I picked to start with? That was that's unlucky. Not, no. no, I've had some bad. I've had... Give me some. Rucks that have gone down. I've had the same. Because we, we, all, we all picked the same team at the start of the year. Well, we, had, we all had Mumford, then yeah. Haymack. So yeah. you can't oh, any, any other why are you punishing yourselves? Yeah. Don't know. Let's not even think about it. All right. All right, let's move on. Let's go to a very important part of proceedings, and that is... Very simple winner this week. We'll do it nice and quickly. It was Dane Swan. So, well done. The piglet there, he knocked up 170. Wasn't number one in Cowan's captains. No, but I did save for the coin. And we flipped it. And what did we go on? Yeah. Didn't go down too well with you. No, that was, where's that message? No, right. no, no I, I that was you. The pirate. Why would you go against me? <laughs> Why would you go against me? Yeah. I provide this service for you. You didn't. You're not using the accent. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I pirate, can't do the accent. Pirate, you could do it. Pirate put me on the plank. Had a little sword prod me. He wasn't happy with it. Happen this. again. He said. Yeah. And if you had a bad swan, your captain, you would be in the green vest. Just so you know. 
It's unlucky. It's what I'm talking about. Wow, there's a few moments of awkward silence in tonight's episode. So Let's get on to the teams. All right. It runs right, a little bit niggly. <laughs> <laughs> Friday night footy is what should be a blockbuster, but unfortunately Colton are on again, so we'll just worry about Dream Team, not the game. Uh, the Pies, Sinclair is back in, and Moon, Moon Dog. Moon out. Dog. Moon Dog out, didn't yeah, last Irish, too long. Irish, mate. Yep. Yeah, um, no. McGuinness is in for the Blues. He's a $104,000 defender, so if you're desperate... Where's he name? Just on the pond? Uh, yeah, he was actually... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of concern. Got him, yes. Um, never know with the Blues. They they pull a few random ones, but he's got to be on your uh, submarine radar. Ellard's out. Now, not many people would have done this because it's rare that people are gutsy enough to jump on you know a random unit that's knocking up hundreds, but Ellard was doing it, and he's gone for the uh, 1% of people that did that. Warnock's out. No one would have him. And Boot Smart. Ah. Even though Boot looks all right sometimes... Um, I think Rats has got sick of him getting flicked off the ball. <laughs> he tends to... That happens to the boat. Yeah, yeah. So, um, boots out. And a few people did get him in defence. What of being out? What does that mean? Because a lot of people still hold him. Special K. There. Yeah. yeah. Um, the try-hard Special K. Obviously, the original was Cuda. Yeah. The try-hard K. You used to love Cruiser. You yep. thought he was going to be better yep. than Cuda. Yep. You know what? No. no. No longer? No. I wouldn't even get his number on my top anymore. You'd be like... No Calvin no. with his dream team at the moment. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. I'm really upset with the Blue Boys at the moment. And Cruiser, yep, you are leading the pack. I think, though, this will help him a little bit. Yep. Um, he's a freaking athlete, that bloke. He is an amazing athlete. If you let him run on the ball, he's going to get a better score than he has been. So I think for those that are tossing up, and I don't blame you for doing it, I'd maybe give him one more week. Okay. What do you guys reckon? Yeah. Nah. nah, not really. Yeah. You, if you can, get up. Just another quick one there yeah. about the Blues. Yes. Is Bryce Gibbs a good option for people to pick up now at the moment as if they need to upgrade for probably one of the cheapest former premiums ever going around? Look, if he's all of a sudden available in defence, <laughs> consider it. Otherwise, no. I'll tell you what, he came home last year as... A 120 average. Probably and the last why, 10 games. That's part of your trickery into me getting I know, and I apologise. I've apologised about a million times for it. And he now, wrote you a few messages about it too. He did, and I'm not going <laughs> to hunt them out. Um, if Bryce looks like going to the midfield forward role that he finished the second half of last year, get on. By yeah. all means, get on. But last week, he got his first 100 in a while, and it was because they allowed him to do that kick-to-kick yeah. across half-back. He looks like he's staying there. I don't like it. Mm. I think you'll, it'll be a one in four weeks, hundred. Right. Okay. So I'll just... I'm I'll write it out if you've got it. Yeah. Yeah, you will. Right. Yep. Um, the Roos versus the Eagles. We've only done one game. <laughs> Jesus. There was lots of DT relevance. I'll have a nap. Keep going, sorry. There'll um, be a lot in this one down at Blundstone Arena. Yeah, oh, what a wicked game. Down at the Blarney. Um, <laughs> the Blarney. <laughs> Roos. No change. Travelling all right, the Roos? They are. Yeah, so they're pretty happy with that. Um, Eagles, Butler and Schofield are in, and Brown Dole and Shepherd are out. Dees mm. versus the Tigers. Jones, I never even realised he was out, but apparently he's back in. That's how right <laughs> he is. Yeah. Your mate. Yeah. Oh, oh, my old mate, Nate Jones. <laughs> seven and a half Jones. I oh, my God, we will go on ahead to head that day. I love that story. Um, oh, and Mac- McDonald's out. Poor guy. Bloody... Yeah, had to... Had to travel down to you. Had to one. drive, Cop drive one. down from Brisbane to Melbourne. Yeah, it's no good. Um, now Tigers seven changes. Conker is one of the seven ins. He's got a tiny bit of DT relevance. Yep. Um, big big Derek's the ruckman, one hundred and four thousand. He has been named. Um, that's interesting. Probably at the moment, if you're going to downgrade a ruckman, it'd be Campbell. So uh, I wouldn't. I'd just let. I'd have a look at Derek's. Um, Connors. What happened to him? Yeah, he dropped. out. For life. What's that? <laughs> yeah, no. Well, it's an interesting thing for this. Like, if you've been sacked, he's no longer on the club list. I don't know if he's on the website or anything anymore. He's doing trade in, I reckon. But, like, they should actually erase him from DT. Yeah, yeah. need to. Because I've got the colour tweets. Your completely. A few people yeah. have tweeted me that we're getting him in during the week. I said, don't do it, but they didn't listen to you him. You knew what was happening. Reverse trade. Reverse trade. Yes. Wow. Friend. But, yeah, so Connors... 
You need to get him off the site. And Dustin Martin, and do you know what? I don't even care. No. Nah. I've got him, but I prefer he to see him on the bench anyway. anyway. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, so... He did have 109 last week, I think. Yeah, yeah, he did. Filling in for Chapman. Well done, mate, but yeah. <laughs> exactly. Now, Dog, I haven't discussed this with you yet. Yep. Do you believe they took sleeping tablets? Um, they probably did take sleeping tablets. <laughs> <laughs> After a night on the gas, yep. we've come home, two in the morning, we're stumbling, you're absolutely knackered. The last thing you need is a sleeping tablet. Yeah, exactly. It is the biggest cover-up in AFL history. No, ever. Ever. And I cannot believe that naive people are buying it. It is a lot of nonsense. They are naive. I cannot believe that oh, it's I not even being questioned. I don't think anyone's buying. No, one's, everyone just can't be bothered, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's yeah. only rich money, old, mate. Old Connors has said that he didn't even get on the piss that night. Well, yeah, because he was, he was on something else, dog. He was prescribed right. the tablet from the club. Oh, dog. Austin and Martin's had a few drug tests since, too. Has he? Apparently, that was on the Arizona website, so... You fight oh, those guys. So is Lance Armstrong. Right, yeah. yeah. <laughs> i got the fourth game here, and it'll be very quick. You can learn a lot off me here, Roy. Swans versus Lions. Boy. Swans. Oh. No change. Again, second week straight. Lions, the only relevant one there is Golby. He's out with a foot. And now's the time to... Win. Oh! Only relevant one. No, the only relevance is all my way through a game and you've just done three. Hog. Only relevance. What? Is, what do you mean? No, it's made any mention of this. The host with the most <laughs> camera time in the do world. I, who do I go for? <laughs> Carlton yeah, Donald. Yes. Yeah, Rock Wiz. I know. Averaging 120 the last three and you think that's not relevant? The one relevant thing is if you have not watched Rock Wiz's Skins Challenge oh, yeah, good. quality with this week. Jonathan Brown, hunt it down on YouTube. The brown dog eats a pie at 500 <laughs> degrees Celsius. <laughs> yeah, that's it's quality. hilarious. Anyways, there's nothing else there. Huh. The other game I've got here is uh, Port versus Adelaide and O'Shea. A few people dibbled on him for a bit there for a bit. So Last he's year. Out. Oh, he's old news. Fresh meat. <laughs> what? Fresh meat. Fresh meat. Yeah. Got fresh meat. <laughs> 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 Is him. in. Timmy McIntyre was on the radar of many teams at the start of the year. Yeah. He's a 22-year-old dude. He's leading at the Sinoffel in the most goals, <laughs> right? So you're like, why is he in? He's 85k, a mid-forward, da, 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 right? Yeah. Callanan's out. Tex Walker is out. Yeah, he's right. got three weeks, hasn't he? Yeah. For that tackle. So he's coming in for a few weeks just to cover their forward issues. The leading goal kicker from the Sinoffel will come in. He might kick. He kicked four last week. Yeah, yeah, he so, was great. He yeah. sat in my team preseason. Yep. If he had have looked like getting a game, I probably would have left him there. The dude can play eighty five grand. Jeez, you'd be a bit yeah. desperate to do it. Yeah, he only played in those um, little NAB Cup games, like the yep. first round yep. of it. But he scored pretty well. Like he had, um, you know, a thirty and a mid twenty or something in those half games of footy. Oh, so he actually got decent points. I remember we were surprised that he just disappeared off the radar. Yeah. He's pops like apparently. Yeah, so well, probably don't say that as a good thing. But. Well, it's sort of in a way <laughs> he would be a perfect swap for Callanan then. Yeah. Anyway, last game I've got here is uh, Essen St Kilda. Now for Essen and Dog, yeah. in out. Oh, out. He's been dropped because <laughs> he right. played last week. Yeah. Well, he's right. on the ground. Back out. He was. He was on he the was ground. Down. Now he's off the ground and he won't even oh, score a lot. Right. Now for St Kilda, uh, Goddard, of course, is out. Two weeks. Two weeks suspension. For what is probably the softest hit I've ever seen on a bloke in my life. He Do needs you, to take a good hard look at himself he in does. this time. Do you train him? Do, with no back options, no. No. Probably not. Yeah, you're right. What about Tecoretto? Yeah, but then what about... There's guys below that, though. Like, yeah, as in... He's, even if he's your worst forward... If he's your worst defender... God... What you have you could got get, already? You I could don't get, know. Like, you could get um, someone off your bench, like a Darley this week, yeah. who could outscore Goddard anyway. Well, Goddard's only been getting nothing, so Darley rocks up 70. Yeah, right. I'm him. definitely of the opinion you keep Goddard, because yeah, at least he, he's someone that's averaged 110 before in a full year. Yeah. Like he's, oh, look, so he's got keep you, you keep him, but like you said, long, hard look at yourself, you bloody idiot. Mind you, what you said... Yeah. The, t- today's the first time that I saw what he actually did. Oh. 
Yeah. Oh my god! And Sam we're talking about is. that skinny little okay. prick Sam Wright was a you <laughs> yeah. know a silk. He's no good. He staged it. Whoa! He faked it, and because everyone's been in the mood about oh you can't fake, he faked it. Realised he faked it, then have to over fake. He it. had to commit the next five minutes. He had to keep faking he? it. See him on the sideline. Yeah, yeah. Well, he's going to be sick. Throw it up because you couldn't believe how <laughs> shitty he was. Uh, the other one there is, so Goddard is out with four other people. It's huge. Clinton Jones comes back in. Mm-hmm. Now, so we'll quickly cover this now. Will he go to Goddard or Stanton? <laughs> Goddard. Goddard. He won't go to Goddard. Go to Goddard. <laughs> will he go to Watson or will he go to Stanton? I can tell you who he's going to go oh. to. I can tell you. Um, Joggy. Has to go to Watson. You would think so. Yeah. Uh, Ross Lyon always sends uh, his tagger, which was Clinton Jones. What am I talking about? I'm on drugs. Clinton Jones. <laughs> oh, in the past, mask. Clinton Jones has always gone to uh, Stan. <laughs> yeah. So what do you reckon Ross Lyon would do? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I know. I know. I do know what you're talking, talking about. about. <laughs> it's because what you chose to do this afternoon instead of studying for the show. You're at the pub. I went to the pub. <laughs> now, no, I did. I know what you're saying because <laughs> you're talking about Ross Lyon back when he coached. Yeah, I mentioned Ross Lyon later in the thing. I get confused, Roy. Right? It's a pretty tough job. I knew I should never have sent you that message that day about check what Ross Lyon did. Yeah, and it messes with me because <laughs> Ross, Lyon, Ross Lyon and Boyd yeah. will meet, and that's the Clinton Giant, and that's why I get confused. So basically. Is Clinton Jones playing for Freo now? See? See what happens to me? No, no. <laughs> Hang on. Right. Who did Essendon play this Essendon week? Essendon played some Kilda. <laughs> right. Clinton Jones in the past. Right. Ross Lyon <laughs> has sent him to Stanton basically nearly every time. Yeah. And Watson's record against St Kilda is massive because of it. Right. Who do I think you'll go to? Yeah. I think you'll go to Watson. <laughs> Just don't justify it. Right, let's move on to the next game. All right, we're in. Come here. <laughs> that was awkward viewing. Um, all right. Sunday games, we've got the Hawks meeting the Giants. Now the Hawks, um, they've got well, Guerra suspended. Burgoyne's got a cork thigh. I'm sure if they were playing anyone else in the comp, the corky would be all right this that week. Be, yep. Um, but he has been named. Will he play? Well, that's the thing. I think he will. Why would you name Burgoyne out? Yeah. Why, so, okay, why would you name Burgoyne out if you were going to play games? Why would you play games against GWS? What on earth yeah, you know, I, I, would you bother doing he's that? He's definitely for? still a chance to be pulled out. Yeah. yeah. If he plays, it actually brings him into captain calculations. calculations. He will tear these guys apart yeah. badly on the MCG. He will kick 10 plus, won't he? Well, Just, if Fev can kick, nearly kick 10 in a Legends match... <laughs> but he'd be going to kick 10, would he? Well, he'd go close. He wouldn't kick straight. He'd have 10 shots at goal. He'll kick 10. Well, he kicked 13 against North. Yeah. Hang on. Mm. Kevin Sheedy, when he coached Essendon, <laughs> he put <laughs> Clinton Jones, Dustin <laughs> Fletcher. <laughs> right. How long do these teams take? All right. <laughs> um, the, the other things there, the Hawks, because they are Sunday squads, there are two new players named there. Luke Loden, he is a $104,000 Ruckman. So another Ruckman to add into that list there. Wow, right. um, and Derek Wanganeen, <laughs> midfielder, one hundred four grand, Both on extended bench, both probably unlikely to play. For the Giants, Dylan Shule hurt his foot and he's out for about four to six weeks. Perfect time to sell him now. Mm. Um, so that's an issue for him. And Luke Power opens up a bit of a door for a few players for a few weeks oh. with his ribs. Damn. Um, yeah, Dar- well, Darley is one of the ins, right. and as well as our boy Cogs, Cornelio oh, is back. back in. Um, Joel's is named as the Ruckman, with um, Brogan on the extended bench there, so that's good. He did have 88, didn't he? I think it was. Yeah. Yeah, so he was I don't know, I'd pay more attention if I still had him. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so a lot of us, I do. Do you have him? Yeah. Had to this yeah. week. We've oh, too many old. trades good to do. Because I've been old. so unlucky, I had to do two other trades last week. Great hold, great hold. All right, next game. Let's have a look at that. This is Gold Coast v the Geelong Cats. Suns have they've lost. Um, what's his name? That Taylor Hine. He's been dropped. Oh, yes. He's played two games. A few people probably traded him in because you know he's one of those cheap ones. He's been dropped. The other one, Alex Sexton, has been. He's actually just been a little failure of a headache thing for us. Yes. A bit of a stop 
measure gap thing that was, we had going on. Ever since we found out Sexton wasn't actually on a submarine. <laughs> no good. He's just gone. To... <laughs> and he's hurt his hip. He's out for the season. Um, oh. Yeah. Oh, Damn. Poor bugger. All right. The other in there for them that is probably of any relevance is Aaron Hall. Oh, but extended bench. A few people would be happy if Hawley can yeah. get a game. Extended bench. Especially, yeah, with if you've got Martin and then Buddy might be out. So. Where's he known? Uh, on the extended bench. Green yeah. vest at best. Green oh, vest at best. Oh, oh, oh. That's who he makes a cut. For the Cats, uh, Mitch Duncan and Pods are out. Um, in is Paul Chappie. Yes. Paul Chapman is back. There's a few other oh. big names. So you think that um, some of those guys on those extended benches there, for example, that Jordan Murdoch, who was pretty good Murdoch, on debut. Murdoch. He was good. I think, what did yeah. he have? Oh, no, no, no. High 80 or yeah, something? High 80. Um, I'm coming to get And he's last on the extended bench, so he might miss out along with a couple of those other, like the hyphenated name and all that sort of stuff. Um, Dockers and the Dogs. This is the one that Ross Lyon coaches in, Calvin. And we've got there. Um, Ross Lyon has dropped that Clark. What's his first name? Zach Clark, the Ruckman. Which oh, means that they've only got... Must, might have been Raphael Clark. Raph. Doesn't he oh, play yeah. for some Kira? Kira? No, he's a Ninja Turtle. Ninja Turtle, you dickhead. All right, so, but that could be good for Griffin. Now, um, Griffin there, he's been producing some good DT numbers over the last few weeks, mm. um, and he's the sole ruck now. In Duff, the Duff man. He's back. He's oh back out oh of his bloody exile. Um, so he's on the extended bench, so... So see what ends up happening with him. There's no spur, despite being put onto the rookie list again after still being on the senior list. He was, he's got a spot now on the senior list, full on. So he is there on that list for the rest of the season. But he's not in the extended squad, so it's not even an emergency. Mm, um, nice. For the dogs there, uh, Cordy is in Ace Cordy. Um, so all those three big boys are playing with Minson, Cordy, and also Tom Campbell, who is on the bubble this week. That mm. a lot of people are. Trying to get a little bit of cash, three hundred thirty odd grand from Big O down to him. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's there. Gilby's in tackling Tidhead from we'll two thousand and five. We'll be pumped about that. Gilby is back. So did you know Gilby used <clears> to be a captain consideration for this one here? Yeah, old oh, school round. Oh, me on my. Um, and Boydie is smack bang in the middle. Was a few clouds over. Apparently, he went off the ground at um, in training. Needed a shit. string. He's fine. That's yeah. probably what it was. Yeah. Well, a bit it tight. He just didn't want to yeah. squeeze. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Or right. he'd run down his leg because he did. It was like on his leg he was grabbing. That's just sick, right? Well, I'm just trying to work it. If he needed a poo, he wouldn't have grabbed his leg. It's not an M rated show. No, he wouldn't. All right. <laughs> Shitty Roy. I know you have. Calvin, why isn't Mitchell in top five? Why isn't Ali in top five? Why isn't this bloke in top five? Isn't Ali in top five? How many people can I have in my top five, dog? Five. Five. I can only have five, right? Yes. People would like me to have a top 50. Yeah. And name everyone that they want. Uh, Doesn't work like I that. I know, I know. Gets me really shitty. Anyway, let's, let's just talk. There's two categories you look at this week. Okay. Boom or bust. Oh, yes, I enjoyed that yes. aspect of the article. Yeah, it's... These are the guys, and you could even put Ablett in the boom or bust category. You can at the moment. So these are the guys this week who could have a 160 plus score or a 60. Yeah. Steve Johnson, perfect contender for that. He sits at number four on my little list there. He has obviously smashed up Gold Coast in the past. He's had previous scores of 171, 146. We've had conversations about what Stevie J does to these kids. Mm. Does not give a shit. No. He will teach these kids a lesson. He played the Giants earlier this year for like a 146. Mm. Every time he plays these new teams, he just kills them. He doesn't He doesn't back off, does he? Like, no. He pads his stats. Absolutely yeah, belts yeah. him. So, but at the same time, so these are great scores. His last three weeks, 79, 86, 60. Mm. And, and against teams fine. where you think he could have scored yeah, quite you well. Know, so like, port, port port last week, yeah. Sealed, yeah. So he you know, could, could be, be awesome. Lazy. Might not, but it's a bit hard. And you've got to chuck Ablett in there as well. Buddy Franklin comes into that category. Yeah. So, you know, what are they going to do? You've got no idea. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, you've got to look for a captain that is consistent, yeah. s- 
Swanee obviously this week being safe. Big score last week. Yep. Hard to unclick the C. Oh, it is. No one's going... If you it's had him last no week, one. you're not going off him. You can't, can you? And everyone else will now come on, right? So you just can't go away from him. His numbers against Carlton are actually quite shit. They're, They're not good. I noticed that. So 109... He had last time in round three, and that was his highest score against him in his last three. Was it really? Yeah, so they're not great numbers, uh, but, actually that's a lie, he did have 116 about three games back. But So 116 is his best against him, and then that's not good for a captain. His form is wicked. He's averaged 137 in his last five this year. Mm. He's basically just the safest 